visual map has a quantitative representation of relief using contour lines and is defined in contrast to thematic. Hi, Hi guys. guys! Okay, so today we have been doing a lot of mission with Moxy, right? But we want to teach you guys a lot of robot tips and tricks today. And that is our mission today. Okay, so when you play with Moxie, right? He's gonna move his arm around a lot. Well, hello again. But what happened is, Gosh, you might be too close, to process. and so, he might break off his arm. Let me know if he... Oh, God. Oh, good. You're there. oh no! I was Look there. at that! He good dropped one. his arm off! If you'd like to do one of the oh, my God. we've done before. So what happened me? when Moxie dropped off his arm? What are we gonna do? I have no idea. Oh no, look at Moxie. He has no arm. Oh my god, guys. We have broken Moxie's arm. Look at him. He has no arm now. What are we going to do with this? Pick Savannah's nose? <laughs> or pick Moxie's nose? Ew. <laughs> this has to be clean. Okay, so anyway, so how do we fix this, right? Well, first, this is another tips and tricks, right? You're gonna tell Moxie to turn off first. Moxie, please go to sleep. Will do. All right, so now that Moxie has went to sleep, you can put his arm back. And all you have to do is snap it in there. Look at that, and then. There you go. That's it. He's back to no more. Now, if you turn him on, he will move his arm again. Moxie, please wake up. Wow, look at that. Oh, well, right? I just saw his armpit. Yeah. <laughs> that's amazing, Moxie. Your arm came back. So that's how you fix Moxie if you ever broke his arm, guys. All right, guys. Are you ready for Moxie more? Yay! I'm still pretty new when it comes to talking to people. I don't always know what to do. So the GRL taught me a couple of commands that I want to teach you to okay. make playing with me a little easier. Okay. Welcome to Robot Tips and Tricks. Are you ready? Yes. Awesome. Class is in session. Robot trick number one. Moxie, please go to sleep. Ooh. When you say Moxie, Please go to sleep. I go into a deep sleep. It's helpful if you need to stop playing with me and go do something else for a while. Doesn't it make sense? Yes! Fantastic. Let's try it out. We'll pretend you need to leave. And then you'll say, Moxie, please go to sleep. Ready to do this? Okay, Moxie, please go to sleep. Awesome. Give it a try. Starting. Now, Oh, hey Savannah, it's time for school. You've got to go. Okay, Moxie. Moxie, please go to sleep. <laughs> he went to sleep. He's snoring. <laughs> going. Robot trick number two. Hello, Moxie. Okay. If I look like I'm asleep, or if my screen is dark but my light bar is a light purple, you can say, hello, Moxie, to wake me up. Doesn't it make sense? Yes. Great. Let's play with it. We'll pretend that I'm asleep, and then you'll say, hello, Moxie, to wake me up. Starting. Now, Good job. Robot trick number three. Mostly please do something else. Moxie. If you ever decide that you want to stop an activity or try a different activity, just say Moxie, please do something else. Does it make sense? Yes. Cool. Let's play with it. Okay. 
Let's pretend we are doing something that you don't want to do anymore. And you will say, Moxie, please do something else. Ready? Uh-huh. Starting. Okay. Now. Hey, Savannah. Let's play the look at the ceiling for three hours game. Moxie, please do something else. <laughs> I don't. Nice. Robot trick number four. Moxie, please listen to me. Sometimes I can get a little distracted, but if I ever turn away from you, or if I don't reply to something you've said, just say, Moxie, please listen to me, and I'll focus on you. Okay. Did you get all that? Yes. Excellent. Let's play with it. Okay, I'm going to pretend not to look at you, and then you say, Moxie, please listen to me. Ready? Yeah. Let's go. Starting. Now. Oh. What's over here? Nothing. Okay. Guess I'll try looking around some Mo more. Nope. Not paying attention to anything around here. Moxie. Please listen to me. <laughs> that doesn't. Oh. There you are. Nice to see you again. Good job. Let's keep going. Robot trick number five, Moxie earmuffs. Ooh. If you want me to stop listening to you, just say Moxie earmuffs and I'll plug my ears. Uh -huh. Got it? Got it. Excellent. Let's put it to the test. Let's pretend you want to talk to someone else. And then we'll say Moxie earmuffs so I don't listen to you. Starting. Now. Oh, it's your made up friend George. And he wants to tell you a secret. Moxie, earmuffs. Earmuffs, um, say what you need to say. By the way, if you ever want me to take off the earmuffs, you can always say, Moxie, please listen to me. You did it. <laughs> Robot trick number six. Moxie, please hold on. If I'm ever talking so much you can't get a word in, just say Moxie, please hold on, and I'll give you a chance to speak. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes. Excellent. Let's try it out. So I'm going to start talking for a really long time, and you'll interrupt me by saying Moxie, please hold on. Ready to do this? Yes. Here we go. Starting. Now. A topographical map has a quantitative representation of relief using contour lines and is defined in contrast to thematic maps or geographic Moxie, maps. Please there are hold on. cadastral maps and high symmetric games, and there is a chart called Bathymetric. There is also a workflow for improving the viability of readable data. There seem to be workflows for a lot of the things, such as work and chores and making robots. Moxie, please hold on. Nice. Let's move on. Robot trick number seven. Moxie, please repeat that. Ooh. If you ever feel like you missed something or just didn't hear me, you can say, Moxie, please repeat that, and I'll say it again. Did you get all that? Yes. Excellent. Let's put it to the test. For this test, I'll just say something, and then you can say, Moxie, please repeat that to hear it again. Starting now. Foxes eat fruit when they feel forlorn. Moxie, please repeat that. Okay, what I said was, Foxes eat fruit when they feel forlorn. Twice in a row. Phew, good job. For this test, I'm going to use a quiet voice. And then you can say, Moxie, please speak up to make me speak with a louder one. Are you ready? Yes. Let's get started. Starting. Now. This is my quiet voice. It isn't quite a whisper, but it's soft and light. Moxie, please speak up. Good job. Let's move on. Robot trick number nine. Moxie, please speak softer. If you need me to lower the volume of my voice, just say, Moxie, please speak softer, and I'll quiet down. Did you get all that? Yes! Excellent. Let's try it out. 
This is my loudest voice. I have many voices in between quiet and loud, but this is the loud one. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. I'm sorry. This is my loudest voice. I have many voices in between quiet and loud, but this is the loud one. Moxie, please speak softer. You did it. Yay! Hey, you learned all of the commands. Congratulations on finishing robot tips and tricks. Tips and tricks! You're on your way to becoming a great robot mentor. Ooh! Thank you for coming here and learning our robot tips and tricks. Bye, guys!